All right, so what we got here today is a 2015 um, Ford Fusion Hybrid that have, had a salvage title on it. Uh, I bought it just for a commuter car. Uh, took it to the shop, you know, did all the inspections and everything passed with flying colors. Um, no lights, no nothing. I saw the bef um, before photos of what was repaired, which was um, this fender, the front bumper, and the hood, and the driver side airbag. Um, what he failed to tell me was the passenger side curtain airbag had deployed. Uh, these cars have 10 total airbags. Um, this is the SE version. Um, but um, I wanted to show you how they defeated the airbag system and then uh, um, you know, I, actually I was pretty lucky on how I found it. I put my daughter on this side of the car and uh, as I was looking or uh, putting her in, I noticed that this had a little crinkle in it there and it wasn't seated into the rubber um, seal. So what they did to beat the airbag system was they just connected these two wires to each other and it completed the circuit, I'm assuming, and uh, it caused no airbag light. Uh, even when we did the smog, nothing popped off. But um, here's the old airbag. And the way I have it set up is, uh, let's see, I'll show you. So this is the back and this is the front. I mean, when I pulled the airbag out, what I noticed was, uh, well, the airbag was missing and it's been cut. Um, so these are extremely easy to replace. I didn't realize how easy it was. Um, First of all, I am not a certified mechanic. Um, you know, I'm very good with tools and stuff like that. Um, you know, YouTube. So, that being said, if you're going to do this, you do it on your own accord. I am not responsible for anything that you do to your car. Um, first thing you have to do is disconnect the battery. Um, so, once you get the battery disconnected, then you can start taking the old one out to replace it. If you choose to go uh, the salvage drop. So this front up here has a has a cable that's, or not a cable, uh, a nylon cord that's attached to it that goes all the way to the front, which I'll show you here in a second. And then you just have these bolts that you have to undo. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six, which is, where's it Great. Um, so just by looking on the inside, let's see if I can show you guys. I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible. Um, so there's the nylon piece of rope that's attached to the airbag. And as you can tell, the airbag is rolled up. Um, it's pre-manufactured. I got one from a uh, salvage yard, um, but it goes all the way back. All the way back into the back. And there's like a little T connection right there. Hopefully you can see it. Um, and uh, so when you install it, you're gonna install it from the back to the front. Um, that way it's positioned in there correctly. Um, so the next step is uh, making sure again, the battery is cut off, reconnect your wires, and then uh, put everything back together. Now, if you decide not to disconnect the battery, uh, it's probably going to engage the, the airbag. Um, I don't know this for certain, um, but from all the research I've done, um, everything tells you to disconnect the battery. So if you learn anything from this video and replacing the airbag, disconnect the video. Um, hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, this car was super cheap. Um, I was very skeptical just because of the price, the mileage. Uh, that's why I took it to my own mechanic. Um, and I did all the inspections myself. Uh, I'm sorry, I paid for all the inspections and still um, they, or the guys that sold me this car uh, found a way around the airbag light. So um, lesson learned. And uh, for anyone that wants to replace an airbag, it's really not that hard.